Benny Physics here. Today I'm going to discuss with you the Season 7, Episode 12, uh, Mythbusters. It's the bullet fired versus the bullet dropped. It's a really fascinating experiment. Uh, shoot a bullet, drop a bullet, um, and they test whether the bullets will hit the ground at the same time. So let me uh, let you see their intro first, and then uh, we'll come back and I'll discuss the physics theory related to this experiment with uh, no air resistance. What you got there? This is a good one. Picture two bullets, each exactly the same distance from the ground, each released at the exact same second, except one bullet is dropped to the ground, the other is fired from a gun. The classic physics thought experiment states that both bullets will hit the ground at the same time. Based on what theory? Based on the theory that the bullet that's fired from the gun has no wings on it, no lip. Thus, gravity has the same effect on it as it does on the drop board, and thus, they hit the ground simultaneously. It's an age-old physics fable that says a bullet dropped and a bullet fired simultaneously from the same body will hit the ground at the same time. But it's so darn difficult to test that no one's tried until now. So what's the plan? Okay, physics theory says that the bullet dropped and the bullet fired will hit the ground at the same time. Well, let's see about that. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, Newton's uh, first and second laws. But I'm going to start with the thought experiment in space. If you shoot a bullet in space, and there are no other planets, objects around, it will move in a straight line at the initial launch velocity. And it will continue to move in a straight line until some net external force is encountered. If you're in space, that could be a very long time. Space is very empty. So how do we know that? Has anybody ever shot a bullet in space and watched its trajectory? I doubt it, but Newton's laws tell us and we can always rely on Newton's laws uh, to help us predict the, fu the future or help us predict the outcome of a dynamic. So Newton's first law says an object at rest will remain at rest until some external force is exerted upon it. Newton's first law also says an object will remain at a constant velocity in a straight line until some external force is enacted on the object. And that's the case here. No external forces in space. So the drop bullet and getting back to Newton's first law, the object's at rest. It's not fired. So it will remain at rest until some net external force is exerted upon us. So drop a bullet in space, doesn't go anywhere. What about on Earth? Well, on Earth, we do have an external force, and it's called gravity. Draw a ground here. So when you shoot a bullet on Earth, we can always predict that it's going to follow a path like that. Parabolic trajectory. What about a drop bullet? Well, we've all dropped stuff, right? And the dropped object just falls straight down. And what's remarkable is this parabolic path can be derived from Newton's second law of motion, which I will do here shortly. And that equation looks like this. The y-coordinate, let's just call this the y-axis, is equal to some constant times the x-coordinate plus another constant times the x-coordinate squared. Okay, and again, in, in, a, in, in a minute, I'll derive that for you. But what the Mythbusters are testing is, will these bullets hit at the same time? So call that T1, bullet dropped. And we're talking about a height in the Mythbusters episode of three feet. Will that equal to T2? Time it takes for the bullet from the fire gun to hit the three feet below where it's fired. Okay? So 
let's, uh, let's take a look at the mathematics. So F equal MA. That's all we need. So what does that look like for acceleration in the horizontal direction? So you fire a bullet from a gun. It's going to go that way. It's also going to go down as well. This path. Okay. Well, there are no forces in that direction. I'm going to assume there is no air. But what about in the y direction? Gravity, right? So acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. Okay. And the force divided by mass in the y direction is just minus g. And in meters per, sec meters per second squared, g is equal to 9.8. Okay, now we can integrate this function twice using calculus. It's a very simple integral. If you've had intro to calculus, you could do that. And we end up with this equation. Okay, the general equation is y is equal to the initial y plus the initial velocity in the y directions, plus one half times acceleration times squared. This is time here. Okay, I'm gonna adapt this equation to this situation where we've got acceleration due to gravity is 9.8, and one half of that's 4.9, and it's down, so minus. And the velocity, uh, initial in the y direction. Okay, so for the fired bullet, Let's fill in the blanks. For the fired bullet, I'm going to call the origin of the coordinate system the initial position of the, the bullet, this is from the fired gun, is at zero. Okay? And the initial velocity in the y direction is also zero. It has a very high velocity in the x direction, but it doesn't have any velocity in the y direction. Okay, so that's zero as well. So this equation becomes this equation. Okay? This, this is zero, zero, minus 4.9 t squared. The y at the time that we're interested in, when it hits the ground, is three feet below from where it started, so minus 0.914634146 meters. Okay? That's the uh, number of meters and three feet. So now we have one equation, one unknown, we can solve for t by dividing both sides by negative 4.9 and taking the square root. And I get the time for the bullet fired from the gun to hit the ground, 0 0.432041699 seconds. Okay? Now what about the drop bullet? How long does it take the drop bullet to hit the ground? We're talking about the vertical direction, the y direction, so we're going to use this equation again. We're going to drop the bullet Initial y is uh, zero, okay? The initial velocity in the y direction is also zero. We're just gonna let it drop. We're not gonna throw it down. Okay, so this becomes this again, okay? And it, we're dropping it the same distance as the fire bullet, same time. So Newton's second law, and that's all we've used here, says the time it takes for a bullet fired from a gun and the time it takes for a drop bullet to hit the ground are absolutely the same. And this is actually pretty simple. The next video will include the details and experiments that the Mythbusters conducted to try to prove this myth. And it will also go into uh, my detailed uh, simulation model where I try to predict the time difference between a fired bullet and a drop bullet to compare. So take a look at that video.